amazing connections, the ultimate con job. Hi, I am Brian Metcalf and I live in the center of Canada. My true story of amazing connections shares how I was solicited from a far off continent to send money to help out an individual whom I had never met. As you know, con artists and scammers will go to extreme lengths to harm seniors. And I am a senior citizen. Now, before you think that I was probably contacted by a wealthy foreigner who needed to help moving millions of dollars from his homeland and promised me a hefty percentage of this fortune as a reward, this is indeed true. I've been contacted by email by members of Nigerian royalty asking for my assistance on more than one occasion. But no, this story refers to another needy individual who contacted me from a different continent. It all began with a song. In late December 2011, I had just finished sharing a post entitled My PLN, A Teacher's Treasure, on my Lifelong Learner's blog. I decided to pay tribute to my PLN by creating a music video about the importance of sharing in education. I created song lyrics, and sung them to the accompaniment of the Colonel Bogey March. To help other educators explore the possibility of creating music videos with their students, I documented my steps and what I had learned. Although I was proud of my post, it was the comments that motivated me. In particular, Darren Kurapatwa, as always, provided authentic feedback and great tips. In fact, Darren's following comment started me on a uniquely creative and challenging learning path when he wrote, Brian, you just have to sign up for the next incarnation of DS 106, which begins next month. Al Levine is teaching a section of the course and you were made to be part of it. Needless to say, I signed up and was hooked. My instructors, Jim Groom and Al Levine, aka Cogdog, welcomed me by email to this amazing digital storytelling course, affectionately known as DS 106. We were challenged to create art by selecting interesting assignments in areas such as the visual, design, audio, video, web, mashup, writing, fanfic, and the ever popular animated GIFs. We were expected to document our learning journey and to always remember to practice our digital storytelling ABCs. The ABC acronym stood for both always be creating and always be commenting. Needless to say, this DS106 experience was amazing, and I learned in new and exciting ways and connected with other DS106 class members. As an educator, I documented and shared what I learned in reflective blog posts. Since all tweets and blog posts that were tagged with the DS106 code were aggregated and flowed through our DS106 website, individuals soon connected with others in this amazing learning community. In fact, it was another newbie's initial blog post that caught my attention. Jess McCullough posted the question, what will I write in her title? And a rather brief blog post asked, will anyone read it? Both Jim Groom, Al Levine, and I replied with comments welcoming Jess. I was amazed when I connected with Jess since she was such an innovative teacher who had shared much online. In fact, three months earlier, I was first introduced to Jess's 
educational passion when she shared the Black Line Mystery as an innovative and engaging educational activity as part of the free K-12 online conference. Through the eyes of Agent 42, in a somewhat Carmen San Diego style that older educators will appreciate, Jess engaged her students as he began learning various Chinese characters, beginning with the most complex symbol. In my eyes, Jess was a poet laureate of DS 106. Undoubtedly, Jess's creativity in writing poems resonated with me. Imagine Jess giving a keynote on the importance of connecting with students, all in rhyming verse at the Shanghai Learning Conference in 2011. Undoubtedly, Jess had a passion for poetry. In fact, it was her poetry passion that Jess decided to capitalize upon. You see, in the summer of 2011, Darren Kurapatwa and 36 other innovative educators had attended a unique unplugged Canadian educational summit in Algonquin Park in Ontario, Canada. By unplugging from their highly networked personal and professional lives, these passionate educators were asked to focus on what matters most in teaching and in learning. Jess wanted, like Alan Levine, to attend the next Unplugged Summit in August of 2012. However, Jess needed to raise the necessary airfare to fly to Toronto as the jump off point for the Unplugged Educational Adventure. By the way, did I mention that Jess lived in Melbourne, Australia? So Jess was challenged to raise $2,000, and she did so in a rather unique manner. She used a crowdsourcing process and set up her own online GoFundMe page entitled Rhyming for Teacher Learning. In her introductory video pitch, Jess stated, in verse, of course, why she needed the money to interact with amazing innovative educators in Canada and what she hoped to accomplish and share on her return to Australia. To reward contributors, Jess would create and read her poem on any topic of one's choosing. The more the monetary contribution, the longer her poem. So, although I may be a senior and may be aware of online scams, I was quite eager to contribute to help Jess attend this unplugged educational endeavor. Now I had to provide Jess with the appropriate topic for my poem. Having benefited greatly from the willingness of others who share educational ideas and resources, I suggested that the importance of online sharing might be a topic worthy of Jess's talents. At this point, it seems fitting to share Jess's creative poem entitled, I Share Online. I share my work online because when I do, I hope I've added something that's useful to you. I share my ideas online because then I know that you adding yours will then help mine grow. I share my pictures online because then you can see a little bit more about what makes me me. I look for your work online because I know that it could help me shape mine like no other would. I look for your ideas online because I want to think about new perspectives, opinions and make my own links. I look for your pictures online because it does make me smile to see a different side of you every once in a while. To make the internet such a rich space to trawl through, I share online what I can and I'm rapt you do too. In closing, I know I made a wise investment by helping Jess connect with other dynamic educators. Jess is both a passionate and committed educator. In preparing to attend the Unplugged Summit, she was asked, what is your interest in unplugging? Jess replied with, and I quote, 
to stop, sit, and really focus on what is important to education. To take the chance to reflect on what direction I'm taking and what conversations I need to have to push my own learning. This comment really resonated with me because Jess is indeed a kindred spirit and exemplifies what it is to be a lifelong learner. In summary, I would suggest that this amazing story of connection might be considered the ultimate con job as it starts with a Canadian conference and involves much connecting with other online learners where Jess McCulloch conceives of an idea to raise travel funds. She needs to convince contributors and promises to construct poems. Lastly, I can say I'm so pleased with this endeavor. In fact, as an investor, you might say that I am indeed quite content. Take care and keep smiling.